in a devastating turn of events, economic activities in the physical town of uh, Seikope, the North Town District, have ground to a standstill just four days after the collapse of the Aklakwa uh, River Bridge. The incident occurred when a heavily laden truck carrying loads of salt attempted to traverse the bridge, leading to its structural failure. The bridge, a vital lifeline for the local community, connected Seikope to neighboring areas like Adidome and Guapon and facilitated the transportation of goods and people. The collapse has left residents, motorists and travelers frustrated as they grapple with the sudden disruption to their daily lives. I visited or visited the community and has come to with this report. This is Sai uh, in the North Tong district and behind me is the Aklakpa River. And five days ago, the bridge collapsed, uh, making uh, activities, especially business activities, uh, come to a standstill. Now, uh, most of the residents, uh, travelers and motorists uh, have to park at the other side take a boat uh, to wherever they are going. This actually leads to drop up from Adidome. What the residents are asking government to do is uh, for an immediate action to be taken uh, as soon as possible to get the bridge fixed. One of the residents we spoke to earlier said that maybe it was a way uh, of a way God is, maybe God is just showing the government something or a way to to make the government wake up to do something about the bridge because it has been in a bad shape for some time now. So the residents are asking government to urgently do something about this uh, bridge, fix it immediately because as you can see at the back, uh, the, the track is still in the water, uh, the owners are trying their best to fix it. Uh, Residents, travelers, and motorists, including Okada riders, have been speaking with Joy News. The government should at least help us as quickly as possible because, especially the children, imagine the children crossing it. It's, it's, it's not a nice experience at all. Honestly, I didn't think I would miss this on the way for um, the fact it's not my first time on the king, so I wasn't really scared about it. But I don't, the, the bridge there hasn't been negotiated for a long time, so I think this is just, since we like action, this is just the best action we can take for prompt um, uh, care to be taken. Naturally, seeing this horrified situation is, is a little bit tough for me. And today, too, is the first time I'm crossing river, this kind of river with a canoe. And I think all these things couldn't have happened. If maybe structural tests should be done, should, should be doing about this thing, I think this shouldn't have happened. And then moreover, too, the government should just speed up and then fix it up so that people can access the road. I need to, I feel what I let. So when I was on the canoe, I was seriously afraid. Maybe somebody can fall into this water and lose his or her life. So I plead with the government of Ghana to do something about the bridge. That will help the people, not only the people, but everybody. Bridge, I'm complaining to you, because I still have to keep the bridge up to the bridge. I'm going to go 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 to the bridge. We are hoping the government does something about the situation as early as possible. My name is Ivy Satoji for Joy News.